Eric, what was your best uh, ski trip ever? Oh my god, that's that's too hard to answer. <laughs> that's not. Um, I can't. I can't remember. <laughs> no. um, I mean, I've had a lot of very, very good trips to to the Alps, to Austria, Switzerland. I, I really enjoy coming over here, and I mean, I've been on a few trips. We've had excellent conditions. Even last year, in, around the Albert, it was fantastic. But I mean, I can't really. Every trip is good because I get to go skiing. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, would you do everything for skiing? Everything? Like anything? anything? Anything, everything, risk anything. Well, I mean within reason, but yeah, I, I think I've lived uh, probably most of my life with that, that is the main, you know, drive, the main focus is how do I, uh, how do I become part of the ski industry, how do I work in the ski industry, and how do I get to ski as much as possible, so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, how is the new Matchstick Productions film? Uh, yeah, I actually, I just saw the, what is it, Fade to Winter, and I, I liked it. It's uh, narrated by Greg Stump, who's like the legendary North American kind of new school filmmaker of the 80s. And uh, I actually, I filmed with him a little bit last year, but I unfortunately on that trip we had uh, really unfortunate conditions. It rained on the pillows, so I'm, I'm not really in the movie. <laughs> For skiing, there's a few shots of me mounting skis, but uh, no, I like the movie. I think they, they did a good job. They kind of focused on, you know, having fun and dealing with challenging conditions because last season globally wasn't uh, the easiest season to film skiing, I'd say. Which movie do you like best? I mean, I'm, I, there's so many good films, but I definitely, my, Memories of the movies are from like the the late 90s and early 2000s when I was a teenager with a very like um, moldable mind and you know some of those early Matchstick movies and TGR movies are and Poor Boys as well like I was a big fan of the whole uh, new school kind of jibbing culture as a teenager so those are what I think of when I remember ski films I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what do you think of Germany? Because you were there. Ah, uh, yeah. No, I, I really... Uh, I let that bus pass. Go um, <laughs> <so it. laughs> um, Yeah, I, I mean, I've been fortunate. I've, I've come to Germany several times uh, working with Dina Fitz, you know, based in Ashheim and had a lot of fun. I've been... I went to the... I was in Munich for the big Byron uh, Munchen uh, final. When it was there, this was an amazing experience, and uh, last year, even actually, I finally got to go to Oktoberfest. So um, <laughs> I have a lot of good German friends now, and uh, yeah, it's always a good time to come over. Good for the last question. What do you think? Do beer and freeride match? <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, I would agree that beer and freeriding is, is beer is the lubrication that keeps the ski industry, the freeride industry together, keeps it running. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, no, thank you guys. It was a real pl uh, pleasure and a fantastic day up there. It was. All right. Thank you.